Alright guys, today's video I have a uh, Moto X here and I'm going to show you guys how to get into stock recovery um, and the reason for doing this would be twofold. If you have a boot loop you can get in there and do a factory reset or your phone just won't turn on. It's always a good thing to test and see if you can get into to try to get this thing working again. So this is the Moto X. This is a developer edition of it but it works the same on all carriers, all styles of the Moto X. So basically if you're powered on, you can power off or if you're off you obviously would be fine to start from there. So we're going to power off really quick. So if you're stuck in a boot loop, your device just keeps booting uh, and never turns on or other issues, this is always a good thing to test. This will totally reset your device to factory stock. So just be aware of that when you're doing this. So basically to do this, you got these two buttons here on the side. You have your volume up and down and you have your power. So what you're going to do is you're going to hold your volume up and down, hold both of them at the same time, and then hold your power, and just wait for about, I don't know, one, two, three, let go of them all, and you're going to come to this screen. This is your boot menu screen, and the way you control this is you use volume down to scroll, and volume up is your select on the screen. So there's a lot of options here. Um, but the one you need to pay attention to is this recovery and this is going to get you into stock recovery so you can factory reset this device. So once you highlight recovery by scrolling down, you scroll up with, or you didn't scroll up, I'm sorry, you select with volume up. So don't like scroll down, you went too far and then go back up because then you're going to select maybe the wrong thing. So um, just go to recovery and then select it with volume up. And pay no attention to that, it's just because I have a developer device and I unlocked the bootloader, that's why it has that little warning. It's not normally going to be there. Normally you're going to see the Motorola logo, and then you're going to see this guy right here. This is dead Android guy with the little caution symbol on his back. And from here, you got to do one more step to get into recovery. And it's a little tricky, I just figured it out. Um, basically what you got to do is, again, hold your volume up and down for about uh, five seconds. Just hold them. One, two three, four, five, and then hit your power button once. And there you go. Now you are in um, stock recovery on the Moto X. So pretty cool. Um, from here you have some different options. Um, they just kind of go through them. You have reboot system now. You hit the power button and you'll reboot. Your scrolling now is volume up and volume down. You can use both ways because the select button is the power button. So you just highlight your option. So this says apply update from SD card. So if you download an OTA update, you can manually apply it through this. This one's apply um, update from ADB. That's with your computer if you understand that kind of stuff. That's, that's where that's doing it through. And then this one right here is your wipe data factor reset. So um, if you're having a problem with your phone, you're stuck in some kind of boot loop, this is what you want to get into and wipe data factor reset. It will wipe the data off all your passwords, all your applications, that kind of stuff will all get wiped out. You can also do this if you want to sell a device, it'll wipe it back to factory and then you don't have to worry about them getting any of your information. So I'm just going to go ahead and do it with power. Then you just scroll down to where it says yes, delete all user data. And it's going to wipe that data out really quick here. Um, should just take a second and then the last thing I do if you're having problems with just kind of lag and stuff like that on your phone um, you'd want to come in here and wipe cache partition it's something that's populated every time you launch an app so eventually it builds up and it kind of starts to bog your device a little bit so it's a good thing to come in here and rewipe it it will get recompiled as apps are launched so it's not a bad thing um, whenever you're flashing ROMs and stuff like that doing custom stuff you always wipe this too so we're gonna go ahead and wipe that one also And it wiped it, and it actually rebooted after the wipe of cache, which is a little interesting. Normally, you have to go back up and hit a reboot thing, but that's fine. It's not a big deal to uh, do that, but it is interesting how that functions when you wipe cache. It does a reboot. So it's going to reboot here. It may take a little longer on this reboot because you wiped cache. It's got to repopulate some things on this first boot up. So it may take just a smidge longer than your standard boot up on this device. And then you'll be back and running here. You probably are going to see 
Android is upgrading, I think. Let's check that really quick. Okay, so that took a good minute from that Verizon screen until you see this screen, preparing device. Um, so like I said, this is a longer process because you're, you factor reset it and you wipe cache partition. This is all normal um, once you do this in recovery. So we'll let this kind of go through and we'll come back to it. Okay, there we go. It did that preparing device and it's done. You can see this is the standard startup screen when you uh, get your phone from the carrier and you got to go through your normal setup options. Um, that's it. That's going to be how to completely factory reset your device, um, your Moto X I should say, using uh, stock recovery, stock Android recovery, and you're back to completely stock system. Hope you guys like this video on the Moto X and restoring it with stock recovery. And please uh, stay tuned. I got more videos on this device. I have another one coming here in the works, which hopefully will be coming soon. It'll be a full restore on brick. Good video to check out. And that's pretty much it. Hope you guys like it. As always, Root Junkie out.